Hey guys, so I have my iced coffee with me ready to drink and I have a box full of fun happy mail that I am so excited to show you. This is from my pen pal Jess in Canada. Thank you, Jess. And I opened everything, but I wanted to keep everything intact and put it back in the box so I could show you kind of what it looked like when it arrived. Um, it was packaged so cute. Everything was wrapped in pink tissue paper. There was pink crinkle paper at the bottom, which you will see. But one of my very favorite ways that she packaged this was she put so many of these little hearts um, just sprinkled around. Like there were so many more than this, but oh my goodness, it was, I don't, I'm just so excited because it gave me an idea. Um, I'm sure you are like me and you go to the Target Dollar Spot or you go to the Dollar Store, or you go to Joann's or Michael's and you find all sorts of little things like this and you think you're going to use them and maybe you do but if you're like me um you just think they're super cute and you think you'll use them but then you don't and um you just procrastinate or just life takes over and you just don't have as much time as you thought and um and then the holiday passes by and you don't get to use it and so i just thought this was the most simple most perfect idea um, these are stickers, you guys. These are felt and foam stickers. And I love it because I have so much of this kind of stuff and I love it. I'm such a sticker hoarder. So honestly, these are perfect for me. Um, but I mean, you can make ephemera out of this. Again, you could collect them if you're sticker hoarders. Um, but yeah, I mean, just to sprinkle them throughout your happy mail and let your pen pal use them and do with what they want to. I just, if you're looking to get rid of stuff in your stash, this is the perfect way to do it. And it really spruces up your happy mail. And I just thought it was so cute. So thank you, Jess. I love it all. So fun. So cute. Love it. So this is the letter that she gave to me. I love her handwriting and I love her letters. No matter what they may talk about, I love it. So I already read it. I won't read it again over camera. Um, but yeah, she put cute little washi tape on there. I love this cat, mermaid. <laughs> it is so funny. I love it. We love mermaids. So you are probably going to see more of that as these videos continue. It's just too fun. We love it. So let's see, I am going to move this box and I am going to show you everything individually. I have a lot to show you. I'm so excited. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Um, let's see. All right, so these are Inkjoy pens and you probably read the note already, but I wanted to just say one more thing too. Um, just, I love, that. I did this in my last box that I sent to her and I love that she did this in the box that she sent to me just now. Um, I think it is so great when you can just have items in your box and you can just write a note and just post it as to why you're sending them something like this because then your letter can be what it needs to be which is a letter and you're freer to write about whatever you want in your letter and you're not having to explain everything that you're sending. I think when I first started doing Happy Meal, I would get really flustered because I felt like I had to explain every single thing I was sending to her in a letter and just like cram it all into that. And so I love that all of these items can just have separate notes and keep it separate. And then a letter can be what it's supposed to be. So Anyway, just wanted to say that. <laughs> Anyways, so these are Inkjoy Papermate pens. They are some of the best pens. They write very smoothly. Um, they come in rainbow colors, as you can tell, and they're ultra smooth ink. So these are new ones, though. These are ballpoint. They're clickers. And as you can see, I already, I already took some out. Um, <laughs> so let's take, okay, let's take out my favorite shade of blue. It is Cerulean. Um, let me just show you. So the clicker is new, so it's going to say Paper May Ink Joy, if it'll focus for me, you can see that. Um, and then the clicker, yes, it is new. So you click that on. One thing I will say, I took some of these out and I was traveling recently, so I had to write my address on my luggage tag. So I took them out and I was trying to write and the ink would not write for me. I just thought, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Why isn't this writing? These are new pens. So just make sure if you buy some of these, click it. It's going to see that. You're going to see a little piece of plastic right there. 
And what you're going to want to do is flip that off with your, with your fingernail if you can and take that off. And then your pen will be free to write with its ink. So just FYI, just a little tip. If you guys like these pens and you get the ballpoint clickers, make sure you do that first and then it will write perfectly for you. So I love these. These are so great. Thank you, Jess. And if, yeah, if you read the note, it's becoming a tradition for us. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, we'll get rid of those. The next thing, let's see. She included this journal that says, well, hello, gorgeous. And it's such a fun seafoam green minty color. I love it so much. I am such a sucker for journals. I think she knew this about me. Um, but it's perfect. It's lined. It's awesome. It opens like wide enough, which I love. I always look for that in a journal. So I love when they can just kind of like lay flat like that and you can bend it back enough. I love that. And it kind of stays that way. So that was perfect as a little marker. Thank you, Jess. Um, another thing, this was so cute. It matched like the color. It was perfect. I will have to find out. She had a friend make these and I'm going to have to find out who it was because I cannot remember off the top of my head, but I will link, I, I think it's from an Etsy shop. So I will link that in the description below for you guys to see. But so this is a paper clip. I love these jumbo paper clips. This is so fun. And I love, I love these things. So this is a bow clip and it's like so well made to you guys. So that was clipped onto here. And then yeah, this is a little tassel. I This is my first tassel. Um, I know a lot of people that have planners and use them. They love their tassels. They love all the accessories that come with their planners and are made for planners. And I, I am a hairstylist, so I have an appointment book. Um, so I just cannot bring myself to actually have another planner. <laughs> I feel like everything is in my appointment book and it is not cute. Everything is just written down very hastily. Um, yeah, it's just not cute. So um, to actually have another planner just seems like a lot of work. Um, but I love that I can have my own tassel and I can have my own jumbo clip and I can attach it onto, I could I could attach it onto my, my appointment book or a journal and just pretend like I have a planner and just have the planner accessories without being like the ultra cool planner people. But I love this. I keep wanting to just like play with this. This is so fun. I just think that's just so sweet that she thought to have someone make me this. This is awesome. Thank you. I love that. Okay, so that's that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> like I said, I opened some of these um, already, but I put everything back in the box. But Oh, I love this. This, okay, this literally, I was so excited when I saw this. Like, it didn't make me cry, but it's kind of one of those things where you're just like, oh my gosh, that was so sweet. So her note says, these are your emergency backup cerulean crayons, so you never run out, at least not for a while, XO. Okay, you guys, my favorite crayon in the box is cerulean, and I think that if you ever... Um, color anyone's eyes. Mm, I'm talking about like the Little Mermaid like coloring book. If you ever color Ariel, her eyes need to be cerulean blue. Um, this has been my favorite shade of blue since I was probably five. So again, favorite shade of blue, favorite crayon in the box. Um, and she knows this and I just thought this was so cute. Oh my goodness. It was so thoughtful. I mean, seriously, it like anyone knows about me, like it is the little things in life that make me smile. And I just, ah, uh, this was so cute. Thank you so much, Jess. I literally, I love this. I was so, I just got so ecstatic when I saw this. So girl, I told you it's the little things. Don't worry about anything else. It's a little stuff. So cute. So speaking of The Little Mermaid and Cerulean Blue, <laughs> she gave me this book. <laughs> it's a golden book and I love this. Oh my goodness. So she said, this is just because Ariel is the best Disney princess ever. Duh. We all know that. If you don't, I mean, now you do. And for you to do as you wish, keep it, read it, cut it up for pictures, etc. XO. Um, 
I will not cut this up. I, my husband and I don't have kids yet, um, but that is in the plan for near future. And if we have a little girl, like I seriously, I wanted a little golden book of the Little Mermaid and I'm so excited about this. So I'm totally keeping this and I thought that I would either send it back or have Jess send me a note that I can put in this and she can like, this can be like the baby's first book from Jess. I love it so much. I'm so excited. I wanted this so badly. So anyways, I, yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Sorry, guys. I make weird noises and weird comments, and my voice can change and whatever. You can stop watching if you want. I don't care. Um, so, yeah. And then she sent me these stickers. Again, I am a sticker hoarder. These are all makeup stickers. I am a hairstylist as well as a makeup artist. So, these are so cute. And they're from Paper Chase. I found a Paper Chase store. Let's see. It was out in Kansas over the holidays. I think it was after Christmas. And all of their stuff was like 75% off. I kid you not. Every single thing. So I got a ton of stickers, but I did not see these and I did not get these, obviously. So I'm very excited about this. Um, what came with that? Okay. This, <laughs> this is so fun. I'm so excited. Okay, she, this, oh, I'm so excited about, oh, no, oh, no, okay, I, uh, yeah, okay, I don't even know how to edit videos and, like, take things out and crop things out, so that's gonna be in the video, sorry, Jess, I was trying to be careful, <laughs> oh, my goodness, okay, let's, let's do this first, oh, my gosh, I feel a little embarrassed, <laughs> Oh, well, life happens. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> Sequins, guys. Super cute. We'll talk about those in a second. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so we'll put the stickers over there. So this was wrapped so cute. Um, so, yeah, she has this little clip, and then she has a charm. I love this charm. Again, it's like a little planner thing, but... Oh, guys, I just feel like I'm a planner, like, but I don't have a planner. <laughs> this is exciting. I feel like I'm part of the cool crowd now. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm guessing it's just like a little flower, um, but she knows that my husband and I went to Europe last year to visit my brother, and we did go to Paris for a day. So we climbed the Eiffel Tower all the way to the very top. You can do that. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, this is so special and I love this. It's like a little, sorry, my camera is going crazy. Um, it's a little teacup coffee cup. So I, and we love our coffee and we actually did have some coffee in Paris. So this is so special. I love it so much. And I think that's so cute. You can just attach it to like a little file clip like that. So cute. And this is from a paper pad that I actually got at Michael's. I, I don't know what the name was, but I mean, I'm sure you'll be able to tell if you go to look for it. But oh my gosh, she completely just cut out all of this for me. I think these are like little Project Life cards now. And this is so, I don't know why I didn't even ever think about this. This is so cute and so helpful and you could make ephemera out of this you could again if you do project life and you have a project life album you could do this oh my gosh like so much patience to like trim all this out and cut it oh my gosh she is awesome I just couldn't believe she did all of this this was so sweet thank you so much Jess I love this I was actually going to, I bought that album and I was thinking of sending you a few things out of it too, but you beat me to it. Um, but oh my gosh. Yeah. And, and I love this album too, because I am a hairstylist and a makeup artist and I just thought like everything was so cute and yeah, I'm hoping this is focusing sort of, sorry guys, if it's not, it's a new phone. I'm trying to get it to be normal again. Oh, I love it. I love that. I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh. I did not look through this album very well. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. So these are bigger ones. This is so cute. It's like a little recipe card almost. It's just going to wing it. 
How many of you guys have perfected your eyeliner wing? Tell me in the comments, if any of you comment. <laughs> okay, so what spilled out? Okay, so I thought this is a plastic. I have to be really careful with this because as you can see, all of those sequins <laughs> just spilled out. Um, so I thought as she had it all like layered and stuff, like I got down to the bottom and it's a protector sheet. It's like um, a little, oh gosh, now I can't even think about it. Uh, what's it called? A, um, oh my gosh, my mind is going blank. These are, holy crap. Sorry guys, you know what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, I thought it was like a three pocket um, page letter. And so, which I've seen those done and not like a full nine page pocket letter. Pocket letter, that's what it is. Um, I knew it was going to come to me. So I realized though, as I was going back through this the other night, oh my gosh, it is a full page pocket letter. I really have to be careful about these sequins. So seriously, it is a full, there they go. It is a full page pocket letter. And I was so excited to find it out. I was like, what? What the heck? This is so cute. And she used the same, um, she used the same, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to corral these. This is hilarious. Um, yeah, so she used the same paper pad from Michael's and she put that in there. I literally, these spilled out the other night and I should have known they were probably going to do the same thing again today. But anyway, I will try to just not touch that as much as possible. But yeah, so she had the washi tape there, my own little sequin mix if I want to use it. I may just keep it in there though. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, I opened it up and then I flipped it over just to see like, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a little tag. So then I was like, what are all these numbers for? So I, oh, okay. So just FYI, I opened one and two and then I told her, I was like, oh my gosh, I did not realize you sent this to me. It's like happy mail all over again. And I told her I would open three, four, five, six, seven, and eight um, on camera. So it'll be kind of like a real first impressions. And I haven't seen them. I don't know what they say. Oh, I'm so excited. So you guys get to come along on the journey with me. Okay, so I do know what this says. It's a makeup tag. So it says, what is your favorite makeup ever? Example, mascara. Okay. I, I Okay. I At first, I when I read that the other night, I thought it meant like, what is your favorite mascara ever? So we'll just go with that since she said an example of mascara. Um, well, I like the L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black in Waterproof. That is one that I really love, but... I feel like it was last year that they, maybe it was the year before, I felt like their formula had changed a little bit and it was actually a little bit more runnier and I felt like it came off a lot easier. So I feel like they've changed it back. I don't know if that's even true, but I just, I could tell. And um, it's really hard to find a really great mascara that I love and that's kind of relatively cheap. So, but um, I still use it. It's the waterproof L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. If you also want another tip, um, well, not tip, but like Kim Kardashian, her, she uses it and her makeup artist Mario actually uses it for her as well. So you know it's a good one. Okay, so that's number one. Let's do number two. Oh, I am sweating, guys. It is hot in my house. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay. Number two, if you only have five minutes to get ready, what is your go-to routine? Well, it depends on where I'm going. So if I'm just, if it's my day off and I'm just going to go out and just run errands and I don't care who sees me, then I will not do my makeup and I will just literally put my hair up in a bun or I will twist it and I will like twist it lower on my head, like around my occipital. I can't even say that. Occipital bone. I should know how to say that. I'm a hairstylist, but um, I will just twist it in the back and then put a baseball cap on and I'm good to go. But if I'm going to work and I'm running late, I will do, I'll probably do the same easy hairstyle, either one of those. Um, or I'll do kind of like the braided faux hawk and then I'll do um, a bun on the top of my head and then wear the rest of my hair half down. 
Um, for makeup, I'll do the same like routine that I normally do, which is like foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer, mascara. Um, I do all of it, but one thing I won't do is eyeshadow. Sometimes I feel like my eyes look a little bit more awake when I just have like a clear lid and I just do mascara and everything else is done. Um, so especially if I'm running late, that's kind of my go-to. Okay, number three, I have not read yet. I'm excited. Oh, show them. Okay. What are three makeup products you cannot live without? Hmm. Okay, I would say a finishing setting spray that sets your makeup. I love Urban Decay. I love all of their setting sprays. Um, I love MAC Fix Plus. Um, Morphe just came out with a spray. I have not bought it yet, but I heard it's really good. Um, Jaclyn Hill loves it. Um, all the makeup artists on YouTube are loving it right now. So kind of excited to try that. I also cannot live without concealer. I have horrible under eye circles that my grandmother gave me. Um, so let's see. Maybe I can say concealer and then an under eye brightening, like corrector. I love Becca. Um, you can find it at Sephora and it's a, it's not peachy. It's more of like a pinky, like a light pink um, under eye brightening concealer. It's not a concealer. It's a corrector. And it counteracts that those dark circles and then you want to conceal. Um, so if I can say the corrector and the concealer... And then for my third product, I would say, um, let's see. Yeah, I would go ahead and say I need like a setting, a translucent setting powder for underneath the eye. So then all of that product underneath the eye doesn't move. Um, yeah. So the Laura Mercier setting powder is probably the best because you can use that around your nose and everything like that too. Uh, yeah, there's a, probably a lot of other products I can't live without, but those are three. <laughs> okay, number four. Oh, no. Oh, oh, <laughs> I was like, why can't I get that out? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, what is a makeup product you will splurge on? Hmm. You know what I should splurge on is foundation. I really feel like there's a lot of good high-end foundations, but I don't always splurge on them. Um, but I feel like if your foundation is really good, then and it looks it looks good on you, um, and it stays throughout the day, and it has great coverage, then the rest of your makeup kind of falls into place, and you can kind of um, do more of like a like a drugstore look on the rest of your face and have kind of high-end foundation. Um, that's not to say that I do use high-end foundation all the time. Right now I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow foundation. Um, so that's a good drugstore brand to use. But yeah, I would say foundation for sure. Because everything else you can find dupes for. And even higher end than drugstore doesn't always necessarily have to be like high, high end. You know what I mean? Like you can do like Morphe is a great brand. Um, NYX is a great brand. You can find NYX at Ulta. Um, Morphe's online. Um, but I mean, they're really up in their game. Even Elf is up in their game. So uh, you can find great um, mascara, great bronzer, great eyeshadows, great blush. Um for cheaper than, yeah, I would, I would spend your money on foundation, honestly. <laughs> this is like an interview. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, I cannot get this. I'm trying to be careful. Okay, number five. What is your favorite makeup brand? Mm. Oh, I'm trying to think what I have... I have a hodgepodge, but then I try to think about what I have, what I do on clients. It's also kind of a hodgepodge, but I really do like Mac, but if you want to get away from Mac, let's see. I would say Makeup Forever probably has an all around great variety, like foundation, lips, eyes. 
NARS is also probably really good. Hmm. I would say, it, again, leading back to the last question, like if I was going to splurge, like I would probably splurge on Make It Forever or NARS. Um, yeah. But, yeah, if I, yeah, but I like MAC. I feel like MAC all around has good, like, eyeshadows. I love their eyeshadows. I've used their foundations. I love their concealers. I love their um, correctors. I love their lip stuff. I love, yeah, I would say maybe MAC. I've kind of grown up with MAC, though. I really, ever since I was a teenager, I really gotta stick with MAC for now. But that's not to say I don't have other ones. So everyone's stepping up their game lately. I mean, for real. I mean, I love Kat Von D. I love, I mean, I love Smashbox. I love Tarte. I love Too Faced. I love, yeah, everybody's good. Okay. <laughs> that is so funny. What is Craig? Okay, Craig is my husband. What is Craig's absolute favorite makeup product on you? Example, a certain shade of lipstick. Hmm. He really does. I mean, like he, okay, he will take me as I am. He, yeah, I don't have to wear makeup around him, but I do know whenever I do um, spend more time getting ready, if we're going to go out on a date, like he can really tell and he's like, oh my gosh, like you look so beautiful or like your makeup looks so good. Um... So, okay, I think he loves when I do my eyes. So I would have to say eyeshadow. But yeah, the lips. I, okay, I will say I love lip stains. And if I do do a fun lip stain color, I would say he probably likes a red lip. Or some kind of lip. Because normally I usually just do chapstick. I love chapstick, you guys. So... Yeah, I'm pretty plain Jane, pretty neutral. So I would say some kind of bold lip he would probably really like. Um, that would be out of the ordinary. But I will ask him. Oh, my gosh. I will ask him and let you know for sure, Jess. I will. That is so great. Your questions are so fun. <laughs> Very unique. I like it. This is perfect, girl. Okay. Number seven. What is your favorite part about being a makeup artist? Well, it kind of goes along with like why I started getting into hair. I just felt like I love making people feel good about themselves. And when you can kind of just enhance their natural beauty, then I mean, they just feel so much more confident. And I love seeing that come out whenever I'm all done with their hair or their makeup. And they're just like, oh my gosh, like I love it. Um, one thing I will say is that I'm probably a lot slower than most makeup artists um, and most hairstylists because I'm so meticulous. So um, even though I may see that as like a detriment, like, sorry, you're in my chair longer than you thought you might be like, they actually love that because they're like, no, I would rather stay in your chair longer. I want you to take your time. I want you to be detailed. And so even though I may think of that as like a catch 22, like it's kind of a bad thing. It's also kind of a good thing. So, um, I would say, yeah, making people feel good about themselves for sure. But I really love taking the time and I love like blending everything out and I love just the perfection of it like afterwards like it just looks like blended and seamless like that's what I really take pride in so and of course like I love all the products and everything like that and yeah oh man and if someone has like perfect skin to begin with like oh it's just perfect it's like the best the best canvas, but that's not to say I haven't worked on other skin canvases before, but just when you don't have to do like a whole lot on their skin, like you just want their natural skin texture to like shine through. Oh, it's like so pretty. Anyways. Uh, okay. Last one. What is your favorite look you've ever done on a client? <laughs> oh no. She said, send me your answers in your next letter. Oh, sad. I already, okay. <laughs> uh Oh, I already did them on the video. Oh, well, you'll like this better. I'll just send you a fun tag. Oh, this is perfect, though. How cute. Okay. Um, no, sorry. I, 
I told you guys, I make weird sounds, I make weird comments, and then like as I'm talking, I'm thinking of ideas in my head. So now I'm like, oh no, what do I send her? Um, favorite look. Oh man. Okay. So one. Okay. Okay. Let's say this. I love when clients, especially brides, want a bright red lip for their wedding day um, or a bridesmaid. I love doing bold lips on anybody. I think that's so fun. Um, I love when people don't normally wear lashes or have never worn false lashes before and they let me do a really fun glam lash. I love Red Cherry. That is a brand I love for false lashes. So if you have not heard of them before, check them out. Um, they're really easy to put on and apply and to take off. So they are and they're beautiful. Um, but one of my favorite things to do every year is I call it Renly Ween. Um, my name is Lauren, but my nickname is Ren and my husband calls me Renly. So for Halloween, I have the last two years, I think I've done some Halloween makeup looks and I've had so much fun. And last year I made one of my coworkers into Ursula. We painted her skin purple and ah, oh, it was so fun. So if you want to see any of my Halloween looks I've done or any of my other just makeup looks that I've done, you can go to my Instagram handle um, for my stylist page. It is Ren, W-R-E-N underscore the stylist all worded together. Um, and so, yeah, that's my Instagram handle. You can click on the hashtag Renly Ween, so W-R-E-N-L-E-Y-W-E-E-N, -E -E and you can see all of my Halloween looks that I've done on other people and myself and my husband. Um, he was the Mad, oh, he was the Mad Hatter, so that was one of my other ones, one of my other favorites, but uh, yeah, so this, oh my gosh, this is so fun. I ruined it, though. Ah, okay. I am seriously thinking like I need to do a different tag for you. Okay. My mind is going. Let's see. Okay. We'll, we'll check into that later, but I'm just going to leave this here. <laughs> okay. We'll go on to the next one. That was so fun. I love it. That was so fun. Okay. So this, <laughs> I'm like, well, I want to keep talking about this, but oh, well, we'll go on to the next thing. This is fun. This was so cute. So this was just wrapped up in this cute little ribbon. I also love when people use ribbon. I don't have a whole lot of ribbon. So I love when I'm sent stuff like this and I can reuse it. I really need to work on my ribbon stash because people obviously make tassels out of it and wrap things super cute. So it's this sticker. It says, leave a little sunshine wherever you go. So I'm not focusing very well, you guys. Sorry. This should be. I got a new phone and I feel like this is not as focused as it used to be. There we go. You can see it. Okay. So this, I think she made this. It's like a cute like envelope of roses. And then you open it up and it's so cute. It's like the perfect like rose palette too. There's like little... Oh, sorry. I keep moving my phone. There's little, um, I'll undo this, little envelopes. 